been a very long winter. We finally started demolition after uh, about six weeks weeks of waiting. Starting to deconstruct all the buildings and uh, tear down walls and empty uh, onion bins. Shea Myers at Hawaii Produce packs and ships onions all over the U.S. His operation is just one of the many onion shippers hit hard this winter by heavy snow loads collapsing storage facilities. At his sheds alone, 22 million pounds of onions were lost. He estimates structure losses and damage at close to $10 million. Now, as the weather improves, the cleanup shifts into high gear. Myers says he still has around 400 truckloads of onions to move, and time is of the essence. I would hope that we're done in a month. If we're not done in a month, we're going to have a hard time with all the construction that's got to be done as well. So I, I guess I'm, I'm hopeful that it won't take that long. The packing shed survived the winter disaster, which Myers is thankful for. Uh, it's still standing. Um, they're shoring throughout the packing shed to uh, shore up the building, make sure that it's safe for our, um, our employees to be in. But it did, at least we have it. It would have been absolutely devastating had we lost the packing shed as well. It was bad enough losing all the storages and those onions. But if we hadn't been able to pack what we have left, it would have been that much worse. From a distance, the onion pile at Clay Peak Landfill looks like another rolling foothill. As a regional landfill, the facility will be taking the majority of the ruined onions. The trucks roll in, unload, the piles get bigger. Up close, it's a sea of onions. And in case you were wondering, no onions impacted by cave-ins were salvaged for market. Food safety reasons didn't let us use the product. We didn't feel like as an industry and as a business that it would be good to put those onions on the market regardless of where they went or how they were, they were put out there. Um, there was insulation and fiberglass and nails and boards and everything that came down on them. And so um, they, they're not on the market. Growers and packers are anxious to get cleanup behind them. The 2017 planting is looming and like all farmers, they're looking to a brighter future. With the Idaho Farm Bureau, the voice of Idaho agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.